All right, hey guys. Um, this is, <clears throat> excuse me, my video on thermostats. Now, there are two main kinds of thermostats. There's a uh, on-off thermostats, and there is proportional thermostats. Uh, on-off thermostats. All right, the basic idea behind the thermostat, right, is you have. There's another one over there. Um, the black cord coming out of the wall, or coming out of the box, is the probe, the temperature probe. You put that temperature probe, uh, in this case, mine is in a snake tub on the hot spot. You set the thermostat to the temperature you want that spot to be. You plug your heating devices into the thermostat. Now. If it's an on-off thermostat, like the Ranko or Johnson's, um, I don't have any of those, so if you want to see what they look like, look them up. Um, you know, you can Google them, whatever. Uh, they're called Ranko and uh, Johnson Controls. They're big boxes, and they're actually, I believe, meant for houses. And you can wire them so that they can take a power strip, and you plug your heating sources into them. So, um, the on-offs... What they'll do is you can set it, so let's say you want your hot end of your tub to be 90, um, or 92, let's say 92, because you want it to be really warm, depending on the species. You then set it so that if it goes up one degree higher, or one degree lower than that desired temperature, then your thermostat knows what to, what to do. So once you get to 92, on an on-off thermostat, it's going to turn off the power to your heat, your heating, your heat tape in my case. If the temperature of the probe drops below 92, so let's say it hits 91, it'll click the power back on. And with an on-off thermostat, in my opinion, that's the main downside. Besides the fact that the temperature has to shift before the, uh, the, the thermostat will kick in and, and do anything. So, I mean, you've got constant fluctuation in temperature, and there's an audible clicking sound. It, it's just like a click, and it's really obnoxious, especially if you sleep in the room with your animals. So that's the downside to that. Not to mention, Rankos and Johnson Controls are big. They are big boxes. I really wish... They're about the size of those water bottles, roughly. I, I wish I had a reference for you, but like I said, if you look it up, you'll see. My favorite are the Spider Robotic Herpstat. They're about the size of a deck of cards, about as thick as two decks of cards. That's not big at all. Now these are proportional thermostats. Because the way they work is, rather than turning on and off as the temperature fluctuates, you program in your temperature, you, program, you can program those into, I believe, let me, let me just check here. I think it's a tenth of a degree, but it might be a full degree. Yeah, it's within a tenth of a degree. So you can change them within a tenth of a degree. If, they, if the temperature fluctuates, rather than turning the heat tape on and off, these will control the amount of power that goes to the heat tape. So the heat is never off. It's never it's constant. There's always a constant flow of electricity going to your heating element. I love that. It's ma They maintain better temperatures. They're amazing for incubators because of that. I mean, I used a Ranko my first season, hatched out uh, 10 eggs. You know, it, it worked. There was a lot of fluctuation in my incubator. Of course, it was also my first season. I was using a styrofoam cooler. That could have been it. I was in a really hot apartment. You know, it was just a, a nightmare season still hatch the eggs. But uh, in my opinion, the <clears throat> proportional thermostats are highly superior to on-offs. The biggest thing is there isn't that stupid clicking sound. That is the worst if you're a sound person like me. Of course, this is coming from a guy who's got rats in his room and has to listen to them drinking all night and eating their food. I've been a I've gained a, you know, I I've gotten used to that. But, I, I also can't wait until I have the space where I don't have to sleep with rodents. So that's the main difference between proportional and on-off thermostats. 
um, that I've that I know of. You know, if there's anything else, feel free to chime in. But in my opinion, proportionals are far superior to on-off. Now, that's not saying you also got to remember that there's a big difference in price. Um, you can get a Ranko for like 80 bucks uh, and a Johnson Control for about the same. Whereas Spider Robotics uh, Herbstats, the base model, there are bigger ones. There are Herbstats that can run like 10 racks at a time. Um, but, and, our, and they also have night drop capability, so you can program the, the temperatures to drop at night, which is great for when you're cycling your snakes. I think these might have, you have to get a night drop cable. Um, but these are about 125 I found one on eBay for 80 once. You can get them used, you just gotta search. But both of mine, I mean, I've had them for years and they work perfectly. So that's, you know, that's it. That's, that's that video. Proportional versus on-off and what I think is better. Out.